My name is Danny Rowe and I am a freelance choreographer and I'm working with San Francisco Ballet right now. <laughs> I've started with this idea of taking the clown, the, the armour that the clown often wears and really just looking at the anatomy of the clown, dissecting it and using those components as inspiration for movement. I would describe this, the movement style for this piece as eclectic. <laughs> Some of the movements are very um, grounded and connected to the floor and very fluid. And then we have sections that are on point and very dynamic and very fast and um, almost twitch-like. And then there's sections that, I mean, could be tap dance, um, could be verging on jazz ballet. It's, it's all very much drawing upon the spectrum of dance um, because they're able to. The San Francisco ballet dancers are so versatile. They're known around the world for, for their versatility. And what I also love about working with them, and I've worked with them a few you know, a few times now, so I'm really starting to get to know each and every one of them, is that they're so brave. They're so willing to be uncomfortable and so willing to try something new. So I wanted to capitalize on that. <laughs> I see Jen as a shaman, as a guide, as a motherly figure, but not necessarily in the sense of nurturing, more in the motherly sense of, you might not want to do this, but this is for your own good. The composer's stage name is Luella Gren. I was drawn to Luella's sound. It takes you in, into a, a different realm. And Philip Feeney is orchestrating the music, which I am so ecstatic about that it will be live and that we will also incorporate the dancers' voices into the composition as well. This has been a very collaborative um, experience. I've worked really closely with the dancers to kind of draw from them what, how they interpret certain prompts that I, that I give. And so I haven't really walked into the room knowing exactly this is, this is the story I want to tell. The story's revealing itself as we, as we progress. I view ballet, the technique, classical ballet technique, almost like <laughs> like a sponge cake or a vanilla ice cream. It's like this, and if it's made well, then you can do anything. You can decorate it any way, any way you want, and it won't be wrong because the base is so, the foundation is so solid. The future of ballet is openness and inclusivity, I think. I would love anyone that I meet in the street to feel comfortable coming into the theatre and viewing dance, that they don't feel less than or they don't feel intimidated. And so I hope that, yeah, the future of ballet is just with open arms. <laughs>